pressure coming immediately. Turns and throws. It's intercepted. Picked off. It's their moment. Here's a quick throw by Thorson, and the receiver one hands it at the eight yard line. It Rumble. may have been taken off the hands of the receiver. Wants to run, and he's looking for the end zone. He's got it. Hand off to Belage, and he is hit in the backfield. Josh Allen, the rookie, got him all the way back by the 20 yard line. Boy, is this guy explosive. Looking toward the end zone, fires off the corner of the end zone, caught, touchdown, D.D. Westbrook. D.D. for the TD, and Jacksonville strikes first. We in here, Duval, baby. Let's go! On the line of scrimmage, D-line. Come on! Come on! They can't beat us, we communicate now. Big time players make big time plays in big time games, bro. This is Jags Wired. Brought to you in part by TIAA Bank, created to serve, built to perform, and by Baptist Health, changing health care for good. To get 10 reps in the, in the first preseason game, is that better than getting, you know, let's say on average 60-something reps, you know what I'm saying, during the week against our ones, <laughs> you know, ones versus ones. So when I went back, I said, hey, I think this, will, this is, is good for our players. This preseason has been unlike any since Doug Marone took over as head coach before 2017 and is a likely preview of how the Jaguars and the rest of the NFL will use August going forward. Hi everybody, I'm Brian Sexton. Welcome to this edition of Jags Wired. I won't sing for you, but you know the words, the times, they are a-changing. We've been witness over the last six weeks as the month of August and the NFL preseason morphs into something new. For the first time in Jaguars history, we didn't see the starters in preseason game one or two, and we got just the slightest glimpse of them, and for only a quarter in Miami last week. Gone are the days of using the exhibition games as a means to get ready for the regular season. As of now, it's all about getting more out of the practice schedule. Whether it was on the practice field or the game field, there was a lot of work done over the last few weeks. Let's look back at the preseason through Miami in this week's Southern Four Dealers Sounds of the Game. Is it a season of redemption for the Jacksonville Jaguars? Can they reclaim the magic of two years ago? The journey begins tonight in the preseason opener in Baltimore. Oh, back on the Don't be nervous. It's a saint. You played in college. They just get paid now. <laughs> a little bit better diet. You see their pistol formation and immediately the handoff. And look there, Josh Allen with a nice play, knifing into the backfield. You know, I thought he looked strong out there, was running around. So I feel really good about, you know, where he is. So here comes Gardner Minshew and the Jaguars off. It's only one starter from the offense going this evening. Minshew drops the ball and gets belted. Somebody's got to be responsible for that linebacker. I don't know the protection right now, but the offensive lineman is supposed to pick up that blitzing linebacker. It's been our theme all camp. You know, we're going to take this film. You know, fix these mistakes and, um, you know, hopefully make new mistakes tomorrow and just keep working on them and keep uh, just getting better. Oh! Hey, bro, like five times I was this close today. <laughs> oh. Takes the snap, pressure coming immediately, turns and throws, it's intercepted! Picked off, and a nice job jumping up in front of the receiver, the play made by Tay Hayes. We gotta develop them, they gotta play better, and they gotta make less mistakes. So you get out there, and, and when it counts, uh, that's when you have to play. The latest edition of the Jacksonville Jaguars are home along the banks of the St. Johns River for the first time this preseason. It's Jags and Eagles from TIAA Bank Field. Let go, baby. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. One play at a time, you hear me? Hell yeah. One play at a time, under control. You know your hands, feet, physical. Let's go. Josh Lambeau will kick it off, puts the foot to it, and we are underway. Let go, D. They blitz. He drops the throw. He's going to get hit. He was hit when he let that thing go. What a play by Dayton Jones. I see you, Dayton. I see you, Dayton. <laughs> Fourth down, pressure coming, Dorsey turns and slings it, he's got a man wide open and it is caught. And this one at the 10-yard line has the look of a touchdown for the Eagles. Let's go, oh. Who the change? 
mentioned this some time. Now turns and slings it, and he's got a man, and the catch is made. And he's down at the 26-yard line. That's C.J. Ford who pulled it in. Lambeau, who has been an excellent kicker since signing here, it's a 36-yard attempt for the first Jaguars points of the preseason. The snap, the placement, the kick up on the way. And give Gardner Minshew and the Jaguars three points. Sixteen out of twenty-five for 175 yards for Thorsten. He throws this out of the backfield, and the ball is picked off, I believe, by Jacksonville. Yes, it was. He swung it out to the left side and intercepted by the Jaguars. Nice work that time by Jacksonville. Picasso Nelson Jr. collided with the receiver and picked it off inside the 10-yard line. Fourth and goal from the four after the incomplete pass. Doug Marone leaves his offense on the field. Dropping the throw, looking, pump face, wants to run it. Going to try and get to the end zone, Alex Magoo, touchdown. A four-yard touchdown run by Alex Magoo, and the Jags get it into the end zone for the first time in the preseason. I thought Alex went in there and showed that he can run. You know, he can run. I thought he had, you know, a real good throw, you know, moving to his left and throwing that ball down the field. He almost gave us an opportunity. I think when you look at these games, I think the one thing you learn about this sport uh, you know, you, you need playmakers. You need guys to make plays. I think we've accomplished some things from a depth standpoint tonight, but, you know, obviously we're switching gears and, and going to a different week this week. First game's coming up fast, and you want to be on point. You want to be at your best, and so uh, it's good to come out, make some mistakes, really just get a, uh, a feel for the speed of the game, so that when the first game comes, we'll be a little more conditioned. Yeah, we out here today, baby. No today. You better come out here hot. I need everything. Trenches on three. One, two, three. Trenches. We're at Hard Rock Stadium in South Florida for the all-important third preseason game. A lot to watch, but first and foremost, fans finally get to see Nick Foles. And I can't wait to see if he can bring a little Super Bowl MVP magic to this offense. Lambeau puts the foot to it and we are underway. Let's go, watch! Hands off to Balaj and he is hit in the backfield. Josh Allen, a rookie, got him all the way back by the 20-yard line. Boy, is this guy explosive. Big loss for Miami. They'll have to punt it away. That's my cup right there. Play the ball, bro. Play the ball. Three and out go the Dolphins. Boy, that's the way it's supposed to look when the Jags play defense. The Dolphins will punt it away. For the first time, we will see Nick Foles, the Jaguars quarterback. Nick drops the throw, fires it out to the right side. Caught by D.D. Westbrook. Spins his way to the 38-yard line or so. And that'll be a first down, the first one of the game. Foles to Westbrook for the first down. Shotgun for Nick. Hand off to Leonard Fournette. There's some room for Leonard. That's first down and more. Got it into Miami territory to the 45-yard line. 12-yard gain and a first down. That's a burst from Leonard Fournette. Play fake. Rolling to the right. Looking toward the end zone. Fires up the corner of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, D.D. Westbrook. D.D. for the TD. And Jacksonville strikes first. Touchdown. Get it. Move. Hey, let's go. Remember what you're Go crazy. Hey. Dropping the throw is Fitzpatrick. Throws it out of the backfield this time. Caught by Balaj, but guess who? Josh Allen playing a linebacker position that time. Cut him down right after the catch. He's a guy that's going to really help us. I think you saw that tonight uh, against quality competition. Uh, he's in the backfield. He's making plays all over the field. Uh, he's got a big smile on his face. Loves to play the game. Uh, he's someone, like I said before, he's going to help us. Coming up on Jags Wire. I don't know. I actually think about play by play at guard. Like, you know, it's that tackle. I just kind of like, I get stuck at tackle sometimes. But I think it did pretty good. We had players wired for sound throughout the preseason, right along with guys fighting for starting jobs and a veteran leader later in Mike Duck. Plus, now you have your best players on the field to come after what? This guy right here, the quarterback. Jeff Lagerman takes you to the classroom to show you a new look by the Jaguars defense and explain why they'd give the Chiefs an advance preview. All that and more straight ahead on Jags Wire. Hey, he was like, hey, hey. he could be a good 
good athlete, but I'm pretty sure it's special. Uh -oh. That was the undeniable sense I had standing on the sidelines in Miami last Thursday. This Jacksonville defense is stacked with talent and, as always, loaded with attitude. Both will be required when Kansas City rolls in on opening day. We're back on Jags Wired. The addition of rookie defensive end Josh Allen gives the Jaguars another explosive playmaker on that side of the ball. It also helps Todd Wash, the defensive coordinator, find new ways to make life difficult for quarterbacks. Jeff Lagerman takes you into his football classroom to give you a closer look at the new look the Jaguars showed against the Dolphins. Brought to you by Baptist Health. He drops to throw. Looking to his right, fires it out to the right side, and that is incomplete and really good coverage. Nice work again by that Jaguar defense. Or great pressure there by the rookie Josh Allen. Welcome to the classroom of Football 101, where in this case it might be a little bit more advanced, but the Jaguars against the Miami Dolphins showed a little bit of a 3-4 defensive look. Now this is a typical 4-3 defense that the Jaguars run. Leon Jacobs being your outside linebacker, Miles Jack at the inside, of course your guys up front with Campbell, Avery Jones, Marcel Darius, and Ngakwe. Well, when you go to a 3-4 that they showed against the Miami Dolphins, you're getting your best players on the field. So, and no offense to Leon Jacobs, but we're going to take him out. Okay, and we're going to take Ngakwe, who is this defensive end, we're going to put him over here as the Sam linebacker or an outside linebacker in a 3-4. Now we're putting in this young, exciting player in Josh Allen who has shown so much. And now we've got a 4-3 look, but now we've got a lineup like a 3-4, okay? The 3-4 look. Clay's Campbell stays right where he is. Avery Jones just moves over to where he's head up on the center. Over here, Marcel Darius just kicks it out a little bit instead of on the outside shoulder of the guard to the inside shoulder of the tackle. Now we have our 3-4 defense. And 3-4 defenses give you the ability to have multiple looks. And first and foremost, you can have the opponent prepare for a 4-3 and a 3-4, and that's incredibly difficult and time consuming. But now to this 3-4 look, what can you do out of a 3-4 look? We've seen it with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You can bring a safety, you can bring a corner, you can bring whoever you want. And these two guys on the outside, and then Gakwe and Josh Allen are athletic enough to play in pass coverage. So now you become multiple. Which direction are they going to come from? Who's blitzing? An offensive coordinator's losing his mind because now you have your best players on the field to come after what? This guy right here, the quarterback. And that's what it's all about, getting the quarterback down on the ground. So for the Jaguars, putting this new little wrinkle into the playbook is twofold. One, it forces the opponent to prepare for multiple packages, number one. Number two, you're getting your best players on the field. And guess what? Now it's going to be havoc. All right, let's jump into the Miami Dolphins game and take a look at that in motion. All right, here's the 3-4 defense, and there's Josh Allen lined up on the outside. And this is what you kind of have happen sometimes with a 3-4. You can see the Miami Dolphins don't even account for Josh Allen coming off of the outside edge. Why? Why? It's a new defense. And as a linebacker, Josh Allen is unaccounted for. That's the beauty of this defense. Confusion, pressure, forced incompletion, successful play out of the 3-4. North Florida is an attractive place for NFL players to live and work. Most of them enjoy the relaxing lifestyle offered by the beaches, golf courses, and of course warm weather. A few of them though like it just a little bit faster. This past off season, a couple of Jaguars spent a day at the Great American Race, the Daytona 500. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Josh Lambeau. Andrew Norwell. We're at the Daytona 500. Race day. Race day. Come on with us. We're going to take you on a tour. It's going to be an awesome day. Let's go. It's Daytona 500, but it's, five, it's 500, 500 miles. miles. Yes, not 500 miles. Right. Yes, okay. miles, 500 miles. This is amazing. You're going to check out a two car? Don't touch the car, sorry sir. I always gotta get in trouble. Oh well. Life's boring without getting in trouble.
Hey, this is the Jack Man for the number two car. What do we got to say? Oh, nothing. We're here in Daytona, ready to race. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, how long have you been working on the team? I've been on this actual car for eight years. Wow. I've been with Penske for uh, it's about 11. Amazing. That's awesome. I think this is probably my 10th Daytona 500. Daytona 500. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's where the Super Bowl is at, bro. For real? Yeah. Might well get used to it now. Was it a preseason preview for the Jaguars? AJ Boye thinks so. He was mic'd up along with a few others this preseason. We'll listen in next. I need everything. Break. Good, nice clean feet. Nice clean feet. Give them something to watch, all right? We've been studying, we've been working out. So let's get this money. LB's on me, LB's on three. One, two, three. LB's. There are so many long days under the intense Florida sun on the practice fields and long nights in the classroom studying. Guys can't wait to have fun in the game, even if it's just a preseason affair. Welcome back to Jags Wired. I'm Brian Sexton. Our Jags Wired crew spends hours watching and listening as players go through the process of getting ready for the season. We're always on the lookout for new players and new ways to show you life in the NFL. I think you'll enjoy the crew who wore our microphone in August, including a few new guys and an old favorite. Here's Mike Duck during the preseason games. Don't be nervous. Never. It's the same as you played in college. They just get paid now. <laughs> a little bit better diet. They go, baby. They get it, baby. They get it, AJ, baby. Hey, let you know I'm mic'd up too, bro. Right, right. That's good one, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, baby. Get him, Jay. <laughs> it's Malik. Malik just want to get your hands. Yeah, my patience is getting a little better now. Yeah, you just got to get that rhythm. <laughs> Degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Working at the speed of light. Got a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now. There you go, D. They blitz. He drops the throw. He's going to get hit. He was hit when he let that thing go. What a play by Dayton Jones. I see you, Dayton. I see you, Dayton. No! Yes, sir. <laughs> I see you, 2-0. I see you, 2-0. We are done. That's the only one we gave up. Was that the only first down we gave up, that flag? When the ones was in? Hey, we got to stay ready so we never had to get ready. I play tackle so much that I like try to be so square to the line, you know? So like when I do get an edge, it's like I can't even turn. I can actually open up some at guard. Like, back up! Yellow, yellow, yellow. Behind the yellow! Hey, let's back up. Let's back up. Come on, let's back up. Behind the yellow! Behind the yellow! Hey, off the white, off the white. Behind the yellow, behind the yellow. If any of these young whippersnappers give you problems, let me know. <laughs> I should have just penetrated. I, I, I'm smarter than that, but like, because I should have known that uh, I was going to get bumped off. I don't know. I actually think about play by play at guard. Like, you know, it's that tackle. I just kind of like, I get stuck at tackle sometimes. But I think I did pretty good. I think I did really good in the run game. I think I could have been better with like my hips and pass, opening my hips. That's where the Super Bowl is at, bro. For real? Yeah. Might well get used to it now. I'll be back here in February. Coming up, we go back to the field and show you some of the best of the preseason. That's next. This man's been in the league 13 years. It's third and five, and he jumps outside. Don't burn it. 
Thank you. I have to keep us home, baby. I have to keep us home. I, I jumped with you, Kalei. Hey, that's all right. You gotta be kidding me. Well, you know things are going well during the preseason when the defensive coordinator jumps into the fray with a couple of things to say. Welcome back to Jags Wired. The preseason is fun and exhausting as 90 players run the gauntlet of practice, meetings, long days, short nights, long flights, bus rides, and everything else that makes up the preseason. We're almost there. The regular season is right around that next bend. Our next Jags Wired is on September 11th when we look back at the season opener against the Kansas City Chiefs. Good night, everybody.